Is opening your third eye dangerous? And uh, also, how do you tell if your third eye has been opened? And that's what I'm gonna explain in this video. So, firstly, the third eye, you could also refer to this as your pineal gland, third eye, okay? It, basically, it's a spot right here on your forehead, which is kind of a tiny portal into other dimensions, into other realities. And so the way it works, as far as we can speculate, is that our soul or consciousness projects itself into the human experience. Uh, if you imagine like a torch shining onto something, the consciousness or the soul is the torch and then the light that shines from the torch into the human body, into this reality, is what we would call consciousness in this reality. So the, the third eye is basically your connection to that torch uh, or to your soul. So every we all have a third eye, it's just most of our third eyes are closed in, in this today's society. But I'm gonna explain how you can tell if it's open or not, or if it's starting to open, okay? Because it's a kind of a, it's a long process. But uh, yeah, so that's the way it roughly, we could say that it could work. We don't know for sure because it's kind of, we're dealing with stuff that we don't really understand, but that is how the, the third eye could work. It's like a gateway between this reality, this physical, uh, what, we, what we would call reality, and with the higher dimensions, with our higher self, our soul, uh, the fourth, fifth, sixth dimension, and so on. And so the, the idea or the concept is that we exist on many different dimensions at the same time, through our soul. Our soul is like the connection to God or to the creator, the collective. And so from that soul, we project into this reality, but we, are also exist, we also exist in the other dimensions as well. However, we, with our brains, remember our brain is really just the, uh, the control room or the control ship from, on this reality. Uh, but really we connect through the pineal gland to our soul and to those other dimensions and our existences in those other dimensions. Okay, so the pineal gland is a really important thing here. And this is why there's been such a huge, huge effort by the elite to actually suppress the pineal gland, close people's third eyes, and shut off their connection to the divine and the infinite. But that's another story, we'll get into that. We'll get into that in another video, okay? So uh, the pineal gland, like I've said, it's about the size of a grain of rice and it's incredibly powerful. Relative to its size, it has the most blood flow of any organ in the human body. What this means is that any chemical or substance you ingest is eventually, pretty quickly, gonna find its way through to the, to the pineal gland, the third eye. So that means that any chemicals that you take into your body or put on your body in the form of deodorant, skin cream, uh, fluoride, toothpaste, whatever it is, um, they, those chemicals will eventually find their way to the pineal gland and create what is called phosphate crystals, which block the pineal gland from being able to be open and regulate the sleep hormones. Now, even if you don't believe in any of that, the connection to the soul, life after death, the divine, uh, any of that stuff, okay? Even if you don't believe in any of that, just relative to lucid dreaming and just in a scientific way, the pineal gland is very important because it regulates hormones like serotonin and melatonin, which are incredibly critical to the circadian rhythm, sleeping, dreaming, memory, and thought formation. So the, it's not like it's just, just spiritual, okay? The pineal gland, or in, you know, what we could call the third eye, has very big importance in both spirituality and lucid dreaming and sleep health, okay? So there's a something for everyone in this video. Anyway, how do you tell if your third eye is open? And by, when I say your third eye being open, if you're spiritual, you could just take that as it, as it sounds. If you're not a spiritual, then maybe just take, take that as me saying how to tell if your pineal gland is activated or working properly. They kind of mean the same thing, but it's just different ways of saying it. So there's a few ways you can tell if your pineal gland is open or if your third eye is open. Uh, and that is that you will feel like a tingling or a numbing sensation in that area sometimes. Uh, and this is different to a headache, okay? This is, this is a specific, quite unique sensation that you'll feel like a tingling, especially after or during meditation. Also, you'll be more prone or more sensitive to light, okay? And this kind of makes sense on a scientific, logical perspective as well. You'll be more um, sensitive when the pineal gland is activated and open, when you have decalcified the pineal gland, meaning you have removed the phosphate crystals that form around it, 
and inside it, uh, and when you have opened yourself up to that higher awareness and that higher power, that is what will happen. You'll be more sensitive to light, uh, so you might you know, find it harder to look at bright lights, you might find it that you get t more tired when it's dark, okay? And just from a scientific and biological point of view, that is natural and normal. The body should be sensitive to light. We are sensitive creatures and we should, in, in the wild at least, and this is how it should have been, we should wake up when the sun rises and go to sleep when the sun sets. And the body and our entire hormonal system and circadian rhythm is designed to do that very well. It is designed to do that. So that is why if you actually uh, pay attention to how you, your body feels when you wake up and if you go outside and look, in, look at the sun, you will feel awake. You will feel very alert and awake. And that's not, you know, random. That is because the light has entered your retinas, entered your pineal gland and released a hormone called serotonin, which is what keeps us or makes us feel awake and alert during the day. In the same way, the melatonin, the opposite effect can be said to happen with that. So when your pineal gland or your third eye is open, there are a few things that will happen. Like I said, number one, increased sensitivity to light. You might notice a tingling or a numbing sensation or some kind of feeling around that area of your forehead. Uh, you might notice a few more headaches, okay? You might get headaches more often. And then importantly, and this is kind of the big sign here, you will have more foresight. You and, and for many people, this will look different ways, okay? And remember, if you're spiritual, this means basically you are, you're connecting to a, your higher self, so you have more connection to a dimension where time is non-linear. So at the moment in the 3D dimension, we, we experience time in a linear way. So we go from point A to point B, we can't go backwards uh, and we can't go forwards any faster than everyone else. Time is a line, a straight line. And we experience it going from this point to that point without going backwards. However, in the fourth dimension, time is non-linear, meaning the concept meaning that we can travel back and forward in time. And there is no linear timeline, as it were. There are just the possibilities stretched out and then looped back around. So we can experience time at any point on that loop. And then in the fifth dimension, we can experience not only time or uh, you know any point in that loop, but also several or infinite amount of loops. So if you imagine time is like a circle in the, in the fourth dimension, we can go anywhere in that circle. And then if you imagine the fifth dimension is the loop has turned around like that, and there are infinite versions of that loop of time as well. So, and by the way, our soul can experience all of those dimensions, and it is experiencing all of those dimensions. Hence why when you get sort of like a quick connection to the soul, uh, a glimpse, if you like, of your soul connection, you experience it as what we know to be deja vu, which is the experience of feeling like you've done something before. The truth is you have done it before, it's just that you forget. Uh, and in this 3D reality, we have what's known as a veil of forgetfulness, where we forget how infinitely powerful we are and pretend, if you, got, if you like, uh, we pretend that we are not powerful and that we're just this poor little, you know, collection of flesh and bones who go through life and we have to struggle and try and, you know, pay taxes and, and whatever, okay? We're forgetting, we're, we're, we're forgetting that we are infinitely powerful. However, go, going back to what I was saying, okay? The pineal gland or the third eye has that connection with the soul and with those other dimensions. So what you will notice is that when your third eye starts opening, you, you get more of that connection coming in. So you're more able to see into the future. And I don't, <laughs> I know this can sound a bit insane, right? But you're more able to get some vague sense of what might happen. And for most people watching this, that will be just like a vague sort of intuition or gut feeling that something good is gonna happen here, something bad is gonna happen here. This is the good way, uh, the right way to go, this is maybe not the right decision. And this intuition will get stronger the more you listen to it, uh, the more you build that connection with your soul and with your other uh, versions of yourself, if you like. And this will happen more uh, as time goes on. You know, the more you do this, the more it will get stronger. The, sen the sensation will get stronger and your connection with that will get more powerful. And that's how you know your third eye is open. Now, I could go into incredible detail with this stuff, but this video is gonna be long enough already. So if you do want more about the pineal gland and the third eye and that kind of stuff, please leave a comment and let me know because then I can, you know, actually make the videos. <laughs>
Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.